today I wanted to do a review on the Nikkor Telecharger i2. Uh, what's so special about this charger is that you're able to charge um, different type of batteries types, um, lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, nickel uh, cadmium. So it uh, consolidates your charging needs with into one charger, which is great for traveling. Um, you can see the different sizes for the lithium ion. Um, all the way up from 26650 down to the 16340. Um, the reason why I think you don't charge, you're not able to charge a 10440 battery, is that uh, the general rule of thumb for charging is 1C, which means you're able to charge at the same level as the capacity. Um, for example, this one says 1000 milliamps which is actually a lie it's probably more like uh, 320 and the charging rate for this charger is uh, 500 milliamps so that would be over 1c which would be uh, a little bit dangerous and probably uh, reduce the life of the battery so definitely can't charge that that's just the general rule of thumb so if you have any um, batteries with a capacity of less than 500 milliamps then I wouldn't recommend with this charger uh, so let's unbox it. So uh, what you get in it is the charger. Okay. You have two slots, spring loaded for different sizes. Um, they charge at independent rates. Um, each one has their own indicator light showing the progress of the charge. You get the instruction manual. Stating the features. Okay, and we also get, let's see, instruction manual, uh, not instruction, warranty service card. Um, the plug goes into the top. As you can see, actually, there's a um, optional car charger cable that you can use to plug into here. So here's a, the car, cha uh, car charger port and here's the normal household port. Um, actually one thing I would recommend to get which I ended up buying somewhere else is um, one of these kind of adapters and I think it simplifies, um, makes it more streamlined when you're traveling. So this for example it would just go into here. It actually works with different variety of um, uh, laptop charging cables. So you can probably find that anywhere. I mean it's just as basic as standard uh, connector. So this is what I would recommend, just to make it more streamlined, instead of carrying something this big. Um, so uh, I, I tried this a little bit, and what I would say, I so far I tested it, and it was able to charge two different types of batteries um, at the same time, basically. So you can charge a lithium ion here, and a nickel metal hydrate here. Um, the only problem I would say would be that when you're trying to push back, it kind of gets jammed. So if you're, if you have like a bigger battery and then you're pushing back from this top edge, it doesn't go back. It only from the bottom would slide, would slide easier. So what I would recommend is that you get the battery and just slide it like this way and then put it in like that. And that's the best way for it to slide or use your finger and just stretch it out and drop the battery in. Um, that was the only problem I had with it. Um, I did notice that it, the batteries got pretty hot um, while charging, but the charging rate is safe um, for those batteries that I was charging with it. So I wasn't too worried. Um, there's definitely a lot of um, heat vents throughout the device. You can see it's some here, some over here. Some over here, so they paid uh, they paid in mind to keep the charger, you know, as cool as possible. Um, you know, general rule of thumb is also not to leave chargers unattended while you're charging, just in case. So I wouldn't 100% trust any charger, no matter what it is. But basically, all in all, I think it's a good charger. I mean, the reason I bought this is because when I travel, I just want to carry one charger. I don't want to carry a charger for 
my nickel metal hydride and a charger for my lithium ions when I'm carrying different variety of flashlights um, when I'm traveling or for different other different devices. Um, so this kind of consolidates and just makes it uh, much more easier. Um, and I find that it's also not as picky when charging. Um, I'm going to do a little short clip of, of the actual charging so I can show it's, it's actually less finicky with uh, different types of batteries compared to, a, for example, an, I, uh, an Apple nickel metal hydride charger. Okay. Okay, I wanted to demonstrate, demonstrate the operation of the charger. Uh, what I have here is a uh, standard Apple nickel metal hydride charger. It's a AA charger. And of course, the Nightcore IntelliCharger charger i2. Okay, I have actually these really old uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. Actually, from one of these Tenergy is one of the worst batteries I ever had. <laughs> and this other one, they've just basically been sitting in a drawer for like about a year. So they've been s sitting there um, because basically they're so, uh, they're so bad that uh, I find that no charger wants to charge them, especially the, uh, these Apple ones, which is a little bit finicky. Um, for example, I put this Duracell in, and it actually doesn't even light up. There's no light. I normally get an orange indicator showing that it's lit, uh, that it's charging. And if I put the Tenergy in, it's blinking rapidly, showing that there's some sort of problem. So it's actually not charging this one either. Um, and then if I put it inside the, the Telecharger i2, and as you can see, this is what I was complaining about before. If you, have it hitting the top it just doesn't slide easily you would have to just put it in from the end slide it and then put it in okay and as you can see it starts it's starting to charge um, this one and the other one these uh, ports should be independent so it's charging them independently and you can see let me shut the light off oh I can't okay anyway so uh, you can see that it's blinking one bar, two bar, and when it's full, it's three bars. Um, and I want to show you that also it charges uh, two different types of battery types independently. So here's a lithium ion 18650 size. And hmm. uh, it's going through the, there we go. Oh, that was weird. Okay, um, when you uh, plug it in, actually it does that that little testing thing where it goes one, two, three, and yeah, it's doing the same thing. Okay, maybe I need to put one first, or it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in right. No, it's plugged in right. No, it's not plugged in right. Uh, okay, let me just make sure this isn't good. Okay, let's try that again. And I think simple problem. So let's put the 18650 in. Okay, now it's charging that. And put the nickel hydride. Okay, now it's showing that it's charging both. So independently this is charging up to it's blinking on the third it's almost full this one's starting from it's blinking on the second one so it's showing that it's charging two different type types of two different types of batteries independently which is great um, just makes it much easier and also showing that it's charging this really awful battery that's just been sitting in a drawer for a long time um, so it's so far so good, you know, you know, I really like it. The size is not too big. Um, let's see, it's pretty flat. Not too bad. And, um, the cable is, I find is a little annoying, so that's why I like using this other thing. Uh, this other type of, uh, adapter, uh, with it. But, uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, so far so good. Um. That's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.